All right, number two. Now in our bag of tricks. What do you got up those sleeves? <laughs> no sleeves. We have tricks. Number two will be the blindfold. Or just for short, blindfold. And no, nobody's getting shot. But we are blindfolding them in our own way, in our boxing way, where we're going to obstruct their vision, blind them temporarily, where they don't see what's coming. Because if you don't see what's coming, you got a problem. Because it has more impact. That's where you get those pure knockouts, where you see somebody land a punch and they never saw the punch because they didn't have time to register, to get ready, to prepare, to tighten up, you know, to, to rip down, if you will, you know, to bear down, to get that mental concentration high. It just happens. And it happens again with the element of surprise and the blindness of it. Well, it's destructive. And it's the same punch that the great Teofilio Stevenson, the great Olympic fighter from Cuba who Back, I guess it was back probably in the 70s, 80s, when he won three gold medals, extraordinary, only three men in the history of Olympic boxing have ever done that, where he won three gold medals in separate Olympics. And he won a lot of them with this punch, uh, winning the heavyweight Olympic gold medal, where he would blind you with the jab and the right hand would be right behind it. Also, Igor Johansson, uh, the fighter from Sweden, won the heavyweight championship, upsetting, huge upset at the time, upsetting Floyd Patterson with this punch. And he called it my bolt of lightning. You know, that's my sweetest accent. And Wilder, Deontay Wilder has used it when he was, well, he's the former champion now, but when he was champion, he used it to score quite a few knockouts. So what it is is, you got the idea of it, you use the jab as the blindfold, where, well, I'll do it right with you, where you blind them, you distract them, and then, bop, the right hand's right behind it. It almost has to be all in one punch. The two punches have to become merged into one, where there's no delay. Where there's a, again, the last thing you want in his mind is a jab, where I, he don't have to worry about nothing else, where all I got coming is a jab, yeah. and he's gonna be wrong. And then, uh, bam! I mentioned fighters that pulled it off at this punch to help make their career. Well, there's one other, the great George Foreman. He used it too, perfectly. And again, you're using the jab, you're using the jab, and then all of a sudden, bam! You didn't see it, did you? No. No. If it's done right, if it's executed properly, again, timing, well, it's going to be tremendously effective.